Hi, Kirk here from Air Precision. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the bolt that is included in our Pro Series 556 bolt carrier group. For the bolt material on this, we chose a 9310. That's something we get asked about a lot. Why didn't you do C158? Um, there's nothing wrong with C158, but when heat treated properly, 9310 is actually a stronger material. Machine processes and material technology has came a long way since the Air 15 was first introduced, so we're able to kind of improve on the original design, and this is one of those areas where that can be done. So the way we ensure the proper heat treat on this is we opted for a flash nitride. That is going to give the bolt the lowest possible temperature during the nitride process to not affect the heat treat. When 9310 is heat treated improperly, this can be from the initial making of the material or during the nitride process. It can fail prematurely. It's a very rare occurrence, but it does happen. So we wanted to take steps on this specific bolt to help eliminate that chance and provide a stronger overall part. Something else we considered when manufacturing these bolts was the cam pin channel itself. We actually cut it instead of swaging it. Swaging is considered the industry standard for AR-15 bolts for a lot of people, but it does introduce stress on this part. You're essentially displacing material, um, creates a stress point there, and that's actually one of the few areas an AR-15 bolt can fail after a super high round count. It'll actually split right on both sides of that channel there, break in half, um, and then the bolt's not usable anymore. So. We wanted to eliminate any of that pre-consumer pre stress to help make that part last as long as it can once it gets to the shooter. The extractor on this actually is phosphate instead of nitride, and that might seem weird because the rest of the bulk carrier group is nitride. But we opted for a phosphate finish on this because it adds extra friction and gives you more positive engagement with the case during extraction. Um, some bulk carrier groups will do nitride all the way around, but you actually don't want that extra lubricity on that part because you want it to grab onto that case real good and rip it out of the chamber during cycling. The gas rings use a standard mil-spec three-piece system. Um, this is an area where there wasn't a lot of improvement needed to be made. This system works really well. You're able to check to make sure the gas rings are bad after a high round count, um, and they're easy to replace. It's a cheap part if when the gas rings eventually do go bad after a super high round count. Last but not least, uh, something that often gets overlooked, but the ejector. Um, this is the piece that actually is going to knock the spent case out of the ejection port when the bolt travels rearward. Um, this is made from S7 tool steel, super strong material, and it's going to last the lifetime of the bolt. For more information or more deep dives into products like the Pro Series 556 bolt carrier group, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at aeroprecisionusa.com.